Today you're joining myself and two other anglers on Wadmill Lake, which is one of the lakes on the Todbram Manor complex. To my right is Chris and Jay. You may recognise them from Back of the Landing Net and also they're two members of Team Mistral. The whole idea of today and this trip for the next 24 hours or so is just to try and get some bites, have a good social and have a bit of fun. We're early November now, so it's getting cold. Although the sun's out at the moment, it's been cold nights and uh, the weather forecast for today is pretty grotty. It's going to be a bit of rain and all sorts. And then tonight, again, it's dropping down to single figures, possibly even into the minuses. So the idea is just to try and get a few bites. This lake, from what I understand, is heavily stocked and uh, probably going to be the average size of singles, low doubles, but there are some 20s in and I think they go over to just over 30 as well. We've had a little walk around, talked to some of the members on it or some of the anglers that have been fishing on it. General consensus is it's fishing very, very tough. So we've got it stacked against us and it's kind of the story around the whole country from what I'm picking up from all the different fisheries. Everywhere has been hit pretty hard this year, as you know, and it's kind of knocked the fish back a little bit. So even though this is a heavily stocked venue, it can still prove quite tricky. So um, we're all gonna approach it in probably a similar sort of way. Myself, I'm going for solid bag method. So I've, I've done well on it before, and especially on waters like this. And I've got four different colours to start with. I'm going to put all of them out, see how we go with each of them. And if any particular bait does the bites, I'll switch over to that and make adjustments accordingly. So we're here for the next 24, just over uh, hours, probably till tomorrow, mid-afternoon. So hopefully we'll get a few fish between us. Right, this is a lake that uh, Chris and I know quite well. Uh, we used to fish here quite a lot about 10 years ago. Um, great day ticket water. Uh, great if you just want to bend in the rod, um, get a few fish, especially this time of year. Um, definitely my type of fishing when it gets into winter. Um, short days on here can, can do a few fish. Uh, definitely good to get out. However, uh, it is still very, very busy. Um, last weekend um, in November, all 31 swims completely full. A lot of bait going in. Um, it's used seeing a lot of bait um, so I think what we're going to all do is try and do something a little bit different small patches of bait trying to fish for a bite at a time um, the swims that we've chosen we're all in a row fish really well in winter uh, it kind of see some of the deeper water so uh, yeah I, I fancy our chances of getting something but obviously um, the form hasn't been good for the last couple of weeks here so you know any anything's going to be a bonus but uh, yeah all right let's get going Well, today has been one of those days where uh, you take a photo of this, post it on social media and say, it's being there that counts. Because absolutely nothing has happened on the cart front. It's been a pretty grotty day. This is actually the nicest part of the day. Um, rain pretty much all the way through the morning. It came in showers, but heavy showers. So just as you thought it had passed, you'd come out the bivy and then 10 minutes later, it'd be absolutely horsing it down again. Completely dead lake, everywhere around the lake has, has as far as we know, fish slow. Everyone we can see hasn't had anything. Um, having said that, now the light levels are starting to drop. It's starting to become a bit more calmer. The wind has died down. It was pretty windy earlier. Fish are starting to show, which is a good sign. So um, we've each had random phantom takes of maybe trailers or something, which is a bit frustrating. But going into the evening, there's certainly far more activity out there now than there was throughout the whole rest of the day. So I'm feeling quite confident coming into the night that um, we should pick off at least one or two going into the morning. It's gonna be a very cold one, so I'm sure that we wake up in the morning with most likely a hard frost. Jay's just put a rod exactly where fish rolled about a minute ago before I put the camera on. So um, yeah, it does look good for this evening and hopefully into the night as well. Well, there we go, we've just lost the light and uh, my first take of the session. Now this was on the middle rod which I recast not long before uh, the light started to fade towards the island we'd start seeing some fish show and uh, yeah this one went away I just sat behind it tying up another solid bag to redo this exact rod when I went away so um, timing was pretty spot on the rods quickly put back out because they're showing like mad in front of us and uh, when the fish show up on you when it's been as tough as this I want to try and optimize every chance of getting another bite in quick succession but if not it's a good way to start the evening and hopefully a few more into the rest of the night and into the morning. Happy days. Well, uh, it's a couple of hours into darkness now. It's just gone nine o'clock and this one went off on the right hand rod, which was recast just before um, it got completely dark. A couple of anglers left from the other side of the lake and some fish started showing quite a lot. Just in uh, pretty much 
just beyond halfway, which wouldn't have been fishable whilst they were there. But once they'd gone, pinged the rods over and uh, had this fish. So happy days. And this one came just after City won 2 1 against Huddersfield. So it waited till one minute after the final whistle. Uh, sorry for anyone that's uh, currently on top of the manor. I may have heard a couple of cheers thinking I caught a big fish. It wasn't. It was us coming back from one down to winning 2 1. So all round, good evening. Slightly bigger than the first one. And very, very welcome. Happy days to get it back and try and get uh, warm again in bed. Here comes a bit more rain as well. Morning everyone, and this is now fish number six, a fairly productive night for me. After that last one that uh, I had just before going to bed, I actually had another one at about half 11 uh, and one o'clock, and now this one this morning. This one's actually a result of casting just a, a single eight mil uh, bait over to a showing fish this morning. So no solid bag at all, just a tiny hook bait, casting to where the fish were, and within about 20 minutes or so, this one's gone away. So uh, that's all about that's exactly what we came in for. Just a few bites on a freezing session. And this is like a block of ice. I had a hard frost this morning. And uh, yeah, to, to be getting bites in these sort of conditions on a lake, which we now know has been fishing extremely tough, is extremely welcome. So sun's come up now, should start to warm us up, warm the lake up a bit and uh, hopefully get the fish moving around and we can all get amongst a few more before we head on later on. I just slipped back fish number five and I thought I'd show you how I've uh, tinkered with my setup since the very start. Now as you saw I was using solid bags from the very start and I went for four different hook bait colours just to see what worked and the first bite was on the rose hip isotonic and that's just a little trim down. It's a 15mm wafter but and I was having them trimmed down and then my second bite was on a really tiny trimmed down pink pop-up as well so it was about 8mm in size, so really small hook baits seem to be doing the trick. So that's exactly what I've now done. So uh, all my rods are now out on tiny hook baits like this. So as you saw, it was a 15mm and I've trimmed that down to, I'd give that probably about an 8mm again. So um, I'm thinking the tiny hook baits in amongst all the small pellets that are in the solid bag. If it was a bigger hook bait, although I had bites on it, I seem to be getting quicker bites on the uh, tiny hook baits as well. And that's uh, the proof in the tiny hook bait still working, even without a solid bag, is that this morning, fish rolled on the far bank. There's now some fish in there, so I can't um, cast over to where they've been showing. I'm gonna have to come a bit closer, which is fine, of course. But I just cast out a tiny eight mil rose hip isotonic trim down on its own because I didn't cast out after my um, fish at about one o'clock this morning. So I just wanged out a single this morning. Within 20 minutes, it went off. So even though it's a tiny hook bait, putting it in the right area, you'll still get pickups. And I think the high visual of the orange also helped with that matter as well. Sun's now come up, so things are starting to sort of steam up. I know it's not steam, but all the ice is melting. It's a lovely morning. Should be nice and warm now once the sun comes up. I'm going to ping this back out and probably redo the other ones as well, ready for the rest of the day and see if we can pick up a few more in daylight hours. As Jay was saying yesterday, we used to fish here quite a lot. Wadmill was actually my favourite lake back in the day, especially when starting out. You could always rely on a bite from this place. Um, and I was lucky enough, despite it being minus two, to actually catch a, a lovely common, about a mid-double, but we'll take anything with those temperatures. I caught it on the, um, the Mistral CM1, which is a milk protein sort of maple. It's a really sweet, perfect for winter bait. Just single, cast to the ridge out in the middle of the lake. And yeah, I was, I was really lucky to get one. Okay, we woke up this morning to a lovely frost, <laughs> but it's led on to this fantastic day. There's not a lot showing. We can see the lake is flat calm, but I've got a high visual bait out there. And you know, what else can you do really? Keep your fingers crossed. Right, Chris has had to head on now, um, so uh, it's just me and Joe. Um, it's been a really slow day, uh, really there's been nothing out for us, um, nothing showing. Lake's been completely flat, it's not giving anything away. Um, I've got the deeper out and um, I've spotted some fish um, a foot or so off the bottom. So I've just whittled down a little CM1 uh, pop-up and just sent it out on a zig. Um, hopefully that'll, that'll pick a fish up. Um, but 
I think we're going to stay here till uh, the evening, uh, just as the dark starts setting in. Uh, that that was really when the lake came alive yesterday, and uh, Joe started picking up fish. Um, so so yeah, we're going to hold on and try and get another fish. But yeah, very slow, probably as expected. Um, but we're going to persevere. Time is very nearly up. The rods are gone out for the very last time. The uh, day angler that was opposite has now moved on. And just like yesterday, the fish have shown around that sort of area. So pinged a couple of solid bags, a little bit further than where I was fishing during the day. And uh, yeah, we've got a half an hour or so until it's gonna be uh, fully darkness. So not long left. So hopefully we'll have something between now and then, but if not, cheers for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe to us. Uh, like the video if you did and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for uh, daily updates on all sorts. For now, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that one of these will go off again, then go home and warm up.